Hey, it's Lucas, and today I'm going to be trying out the Upstate Nighttime Blueberry Kush Cart. Before I try this out, I just want to say to YouTube, this is 100% legal medication prescribed to me by a doctor. I will not be showing the medication in this video. I will not be medicating in this video. There is absolutely no reason to age restrict this video. When I tried out the daytime cart, they age restricted that video, and then when I actually reviewed it fully, they age restricted that one. Even though I didn't show anything, didn't medicate at all, it's really, really annoying. So I'm going to be trying extra hard in this video not to get age restricted and if they do, when the full review comes around, I'm just going to go all out. So yesterday I finished off the daytime pineapple express cart. I've been using it, well, almost solely when I've been at work. I haven't been using it at home, but I have puffed on it a couple of times when I've been out and about. So I'm going to talk about the packaging before I open it, and I'm going to do my best to cover up all the words that might possibly get this video age restricted. I know that this is really stupid, but I'm just trying here. So this is the packaging. You can see that it is mainly plain black. It's got the Upstate logo on there, and then it's got this blue sort of oil slick look to it that I think is really really cool on the daytime one it's yellow which obviously indicates sunshine and daytime and on this one it's blue which indicates nighttime and sleep I don't know what the oil slick little pattern is for but I think it looks really really cool so for me the packaging for this it looks better than any of the medical pots that I've seen so I'm gonna give it 8 out of 10, I think it looks good. This time around, my clinic hasn't stuck the detail sticker over the instructions like it did last time, which is a big help. And the instructions say, cartridge should only be used with batteries intended for 510 thread. Recommended voltage is 3.5 to 4.5. Take cartridge out of battery when not in use. Keep cartridge and battery exterior. And, okay, I lied. It's a little bit, tiny little bit over the instructions. Keep cartridge and battery exterior contact points clean. The terpene profile on this is myrcene, caryophylline, and D-limonene. I don't know what D-limonene is. I've heard of limonene, but I've never heard of D-limonene, so that's quite interesting. On the front, it says control drug, indica, THC, night, blueberry, kush, 800 milligrams. And that is pretty much all she wrote, apart from packaged on 30th of June 24, expiry date is 30th of June 25. So let's just tear this open and see what's inside. These do come in resealable packages, but last time I accidentally ended up ripping it where it's like a, a clip close packaging, what you get, just think of any packs that you might get bud in. It's one of those, and I ripped down the side of it, so the, the clip close packaging bit, did still seal but i just completely ripped it off so that was very stupid of me that one was way easier to get into than the last one i think i was just being really really stupid i haven't medicated before this video so that might be why i'm actually doing better this time around there is a slight smell coming from the inside of the packaging if i hold it down at arm's length i can't smell it but then if i lift it up to my nose it does smell a little bit like bud it smells like artificial blueberry kush there's no other way that i can describe it obviously the strain is blueberry kush but to me it smells like in the same way that I described the taste of fake weed last time where you get like weed flavored things that don't actually contain any weed that kind of fake weed flavor that's what it smells like but it also smells a tiny little bit blueberry and there's definitely like I said the kush smell coming from it if you do want to see what the cart and the packaging looks like I will post a short I don't usually do it with the carts but I'm trying not to show it in this video like I've said many times already so I'll post a short showing what the cart and the packaging looks like it is a one mil cart comes with a stopper on the top and the bottom big old sticker on the front of it that says THC with a big leaf that looks just like this one. The mouthpiece for this one is black whereas the daytime one is white which is just a little bit of detail that they've included there. It says upstate on the side and night across the bottom in blue so you won't be getting these confused. With Montu you get a free 510 battery with your first order or I don't know whether it's the first upstate order that you get or whether it's whether you get a daytime or a nighttime one for the first time because I got the Pineapple Express one and they sent me a free battery with it. I wasn't expecting to get a free battery with the nighttime one because they'd already sent me a free one, but they sent me another free one anyway. So I think it must just be the first time that you try that flavor, you get a cart with it. A cart with it, a battery with it is what I meant to say. I don't know if the battery comes charged or not. I did try it straight out of the pack last time, but this time I've had it on charge for about 10 minutes before I started the video. The flavor that I get off that, off the first hit is just like a, rotten blueberry that's really weird it tastes like i said slightly like blueberry whereas the pineapple express one i got a strong curry taste from that the first time i hit that so um yeah i can't say off the first hit that i really like the flavor but if anything it's like a sour very overripe almost to the point of rotting 
fermenting blueberry type of flavour. The flavour is interesting and it might take a little bit of getting used to, but I don't think it's really bad. It's just a little bit artificial and a little bit off-putting. As the effects are in, I'm just going to jump into my first time rating, so for the looks, I'm going to go ahead and give it... Honestly, I think I will give it... My brain went 9, but I'm not sure about that, so I'm going to stick at 8. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks quite sleek, if maybe a little bit old-fashioned. The little stick batteries remind me of the really, really old school when e-cigs first came out, and they tried to actually make them look like cigarettes. They made them long, they made them skinny, and... You know, it just makes me think that it looks a little bit old-fashioned, if anything at all, but super discreet, fits in your pocket. I quite like the black mouthpiece. I feel like it just makes it seem cleaner. If if you vape often, sometimes if you're gross, like, the mouthpiece can get all, like, built up with stuff on there. I feel like you wouldn't be able to see it as much on a black one, which would make it feel cleaner. I know that sounds gross. I regularly clean my mouthpieces, and if anything, I put the cap back on after I'm finished using it so no shit gets in there, but yeah, just looks. There's not really much you can say about it, so I'm just gonna give it an 8. It looks fine. Also, if you want to throw the packaging into the looks, I'm gonna give that an 8 as well because I just think it looks cool. For the smell of these, I don't know which way to rate them because when you've taken it out of the packaging and you're out and about using it, the smell I've found is pretty much non-existent. I don't want to say it's absolute zero because you might have somebody out there that's got the nose of a bloodhound, you know, and it can just smell bud from anywhere. So I don't want to say it's 100% smell proof, but it's very, very discreet, so if you're looking for no smell, or very, very minimum smell, then this is a 10 out of 10, you can't get any more discreet than this. Or if you want to take it in the other direction, this has basically no smell, so, you know, you're not going to smell blueberry kush or whatever the fuck it is, so it could be a 0 out of 10, but I'm going to give it the 10 out of 10 discreetness, because that's... I would rather be more positive about this than negative. The taste, I'm going to give a 7.5 because whereas I don't think I really like it that much, it does have an actual flavour there. Unlike the pineapple cart, which tasted like curry all the way up until like the very last few hits where it started to taste faintly weedy, even almost good in a way, but it took so long to actually get to a good flavour for me that I just couldn't rate the flavour very highly on that. This, right off the bat, gives, like I said before, like a really strong, tart, funky blueberry flavour, which is, like I said, not my favourite, but it's definitely a blueberry kush flavour, so I've got to rate it highly. I think... I said 7.5. I'm actually going to push it up to an 8, because I can feel this flavour growing on me already. And then, effects-wise, the Pineapple Express cart didn't really affect me much at all. I could barely feel anything off of it unless I ripped the fuck out of it. And then, you know, even then it was only just slightly wavy, slightly just a little bit off kilter. Not really what I was looking for. For me, I got this to use at work very discreetly. I work in a very, very old-fashioned pub where people are so anti-weed, it's very funny. Um, so I didn't want to be bringing in my dry herb vape and stinking the place up. Just out of respect, really, than more than anything else. I don't want to do that. Plus, for myself, I don't want any attention. I don't want to draw attention to myself. I go in, I serve you your pints, and then I go home, like, don't fucking talk to me, <laughs> sort of thing. So I don't want to draw attention to myself, hence why I wanted the cart for work. And I can say very, very confidently, nobody knows a thing. Nobody's asked me, nobody's even mentioned me vaping, because I quit vaping any kind of nicotine product about seven months ago now, and... Now I've been walking around with this cart in my hand and nobody's said anything really, so nobody thinks that this is a weed vape and nobody can smell weed and nobody can tell that I'm high because I'm high all the time. <laughs> but I will say I've hit this a few times now and I'm feeling a little bit of something behind my eyes. It's the almost heat. It feels like my eyes are going a little bit squinty and they're warm. I feel like maybe I feel a little bit heavy in the in the heels of my feet. I was going to say the balls of my feet then, but that's not what I meant. In my heels and in my shoulders. I definitely don't feel blasted or blown away by any means, but there is a definite mindset switch, a definite 
visual switch and I can feel it within myself. This is the same strength as the Pineapple Express Decor, 800 milligrams. And I would say that I took probably the same amount of rips. I, I can't recall, if anything, I would say that I took more rips of the Pineapple Express Decor the first time that I tried it and didn't get any effects. Right now, I'm chilling. I feel good. I feel like if I was at work right now, I'd be good, you know, just waiting for the day to end. <laughs> I definitely do feel more relaxed off of this one than I did off the Pineapple Express car, but then again, for now, it could just be placebo. This is the first time I've tried it, and I'm expecting to feel relaxed, so maybe that's why. I can't really say at this moment in time. All I can say is I do feel medicated, and I do feel good, so for the effects right now, I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8. I, I feel good, like I said. So where does that leave us? I'm pretty sure I said 8 for looks. That's what I'm going with. 10, I think I said, for smell. When you open the packaging and you get it out, the packaging does smell a little bit like bud. But once it's out of the packaging and in your pocket and you're just vaping out and about, it really doesn't smell like much at all. Again, I'm not going to say it doesn't smell like anything. Because A, my nose is pretty bad since I had COVID anyway. And B, it's not my fault if somebody doesn't like the smell of your vape. So just keep it in mind. It's it's almost, I'm going to say it's almost undetectable. Because I can't smell it. Nobody said anything to me or around me about smelling weed when I've been out with this. So I'm going to say it's almost undetectable. But I'm not going to say that it's 100% undetectable. Looks 8, smell 10, taste. I'm going to give it an 8. It's a little bit funky, it's not my favourite, it tastes like a fermenting sour blueberry with a little bit of cushion there. I really can see it growing on me, so yeah, I'm going to stick with the 8. And the effects, again, I'm going to give, what did, I think I said 7.5, but fuck it, I'm just going to call it an 8 in this video because I already like this way, way more than I like the Pineapple Express one, so I'm just going to stick it at a overall 8 for the Upstate Carts Nighttime Blueberry Kush Vape. I forgot what it was called, that's what I was thinking then. So yes, 8 out of 10 for this Upstate Carts Blueberry Kush Vape. If you like this video, leave a like, leave me a comment telling me if you've tried these carts, either the daytime one, the nighttime one, or any of the other ones, because I do want to try the Vida ones eventually. If you've watched to the end, listen to me. If YouTube age restricts this video, I'm just going to delete it and make another review where I show the car, I go into detail, and I will medicate on camera because it's ridiculous. I, there's no reason for them to age restrict this one, and I don't know if they have yet because I haven't posted it, I haven't even edited it yet, but if this one becomes age restricted, I'm going to be pretty fucking angry because there's nothing in this video to age restrict, but let's just not get ahead of ourselves right now. We'll see what happens in the full review, you know? Subscribe for more videos if you want to see that, and peace. Thank you.